What's up you all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another request. I'm gonna be doing Winona Ryder. Now this is a particular look I kind of took out of Winona Ryder's cache of looks over the years, um, but it is pretty typical of her and she seems to wear some variation of this pretty often, whether it's at an event or just in general. Now back in the day, she used to like only wear the red lip. I know she's branched out recently into nudes and you know, other stuff like that, but this is a look that I always think of when I think of Winona Ryder, and this is the look that she wore to, I believe it was the Oscars with Johnny Depp during the Edward Scissorhands era, and when they were in a relationship. This is the look I just always go back to every time I think of Winona Ryder makeup, Winona Ryder makeup. I don't know if it's just because I remember it from when I was younger, or if it's just my favorite look of hers, but I really, really love it. Now, it took me a while to figure out what had been done to her eyes because in the in the pictures that you see, she has pretty hooded eyes, so you don't really get to see all the detail. The way I found it was, I googled it, I looked up the video, or I found a gif or something, and I paused it when she was blinking so that I could see <laughs> her eyelids and what had actually been done. And I did notice that there was a grayish dark silver in her crease. And that is why it looks a little bit different on me because I don't have hooded eyes, but I still wanted to stay true to the actual makeup look and do it the way they did it. The eyeliner is obviously the most important part in the frosty, cool tone eyeshadow. But aside from that, you gotta have the red lipstick and then you're good because that's pretty much it. I did put some a little bit of contour on uh, just to, because it seemed, it seemed to me like that's all she really had was a little bit of bronzer or contour but no highlight, no blush. Her her face in the center was very, very blank and washed out, but I think that is the look she was going for. That's the look she was known for back then based on some old pictures I saw of her. So since I wanted to kind of do um, the 90s Winona, I really wanted to do something cool, crazy instead of just doing her minimal look with the red lip with that, that she's known for. Although I do love that look, and if somebody wants me to do something like that, then sure, throw it my way. We'll see, we'll see what I can do. Uh, to make it a little more interesting. But anyway, um, I hope you all like this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm just gonna prime my eyes with con some concealer. So I'm not gonna set the concealer or anything. I'm just gonna go straight in with this shade from the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. It's got a very slight sheen. It's like a satin white shade. So kind of frosty, not super shimmery. Uh, but it's gonna give me kind of a white base here. I am gonna make it a little more cool toned because it in itself is not very cool and I need it to be more gray. But anyway, I'm gonna go into Gemini from the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. This is the original Zodiac palette, but instead of just wiping it on, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm gonna kind of, you know, pat it on or on all the way to my eyebrow. So I'm taking it all the way up onto my brow bone, to my eyebrow, all over my lid. I'm just gonna go over it with a tiny bit right on my lid, just on my finger, but not very much, just to kind of pat it in so it's not falling all over the place. Then I'm gonna go into the shade Drift from the Born to Run palette, and I'm gonna take that on a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush, and I'm gonna put that right in my eye socket here. I'm gonna try to keep it right in my crease. It's gonna come down a little bit, but that's okay. I just wanna make sure I have a shadow there, and I'm just gonna use that gray to do that. Then I'm going to put sunscreen on. I don't show this step very often, but this is what I do when I do my eyeshadow first. I tend to not put sunscreen on until after I'm done with my eyeshadow, especially if I know I'm gonna get a lot of sparkles on my face, so I can take a makeup wipe and wipe it off and then go in with my sunscreen. And then I use a beauty blender to put my sunscreen on because it absorbs less product than my hands, believe it or not and it pats it in to the point that it's not greasy. Then I'm gonna do concealer first. Uh, I'm doing this because the foundation I'm using is like a stick foundation. I hate putting concealer on top of it because it tends to just pick up, but the reason I wanna use my stick foundation is because it is my coolest toned, palest, princessest foundation. So I'm putting concealer first, but I'm gonna put a lot of concealer so I don't have to uh, worry about the coverage because some of it will come off with that stick foundation. So I'm just gonna pack it on pretty heavy at first. For the stick foundation, I'm using the Makeup Revolution stick foundation and I'm gonna put that on with a brush. I'm gonna put it all over because I need super full coverage because we're going for pale, pale princessdom here. 
And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and brush that in. Then I'm gonna powder it with the Hourglass Diffuse Light Ambient Lighting Powder, but I went back in with the RCMA No Color Powder and cake that on pretty heavily because she looks pretty powdered. Anyway, uh, yeah, then I'm gonna do my eyeliner. As you can see, the shape I kind of drew right there, that's the line I wanna follow. And I always check out what line I wanna follow before I even start doing my eyeliner. Open my eye, check and make sure I'm doing it right. Keep going, stop, open my eye a little bit, make sure I've got the shape right. Now I'm taking that right to the edge of my eye. I'm not gonna drag it out further than that because I will go in with a brush and blend it out, and wing it out as I need to, but as soon as I get to the corner of my eye, I'm gonna keep, go down. And I'm only gonna drag the bottom line about halfway in. The top line, I will go back and uh, follow it all the way to my inner corner, but the bottom line, I just wanna drag it about halfway in. And I wanna get my water line in there as well, so I'm doing the water line and my lash line with this. Just pay attention to the shape that I'm creating. Then I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques brush with Jet from Born to Run. And I'm just gonna sort of set that, but also smear it around, make the line a little more defined. It doesn't have to be perfect because God knows the makeup looks in the 90s were never perfect. They were kind of sloppy. They were not the super blown out perfection we have today, generally speaking. But I am gonna make sure that they're all the gaps are filled in. I don't want a lot of spaces between my lash line and my water line, so I'm gonna tight line, and I'm just gonna blend that out as I need to. Then I'm gonna go back into Drift. I'm gonna take this little Real Technique shading brush. It's a little bit fluffy, and I noticed she had a little bit of shadow right there on the corner of her eye. And that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go back in with the eyeliner just to fill in any holes after I'm done doing that. Get everything to match and kind of go back and forth until everything matches. Then I'm gonna go back into that white shade from the Born to Run palette. I'm gonna pack that over my lid because her lid looked a lot brighter. So for brows, I'm gonna use this black from the BH Cosmetic Zodiac palette. Now I'm not a huge fan of how she has her brows shaped like I'm not a fan of that shape on my face, but I'm gonna do sort of what she has. I am gonna make it a little bit straighter because I'm just not a huge super fan of brows like that on me. So I am gonna make the tail a tad straighter, but aside from that, I am gonna try and stay true to form and just make them kind of messy and bushy, and I'm gonna curl my lashes. I haven't been doing it lately because I feel like it pulls my eyelashes out, but. Yeah, I'm gonna curl my lashes for this look just to try and make my eyes look as hooded as possible if that were at all possible with me, which it isn't because my eyes are far from hooded. But then I'm gonna do mascara and the way I'm doing it is I'm just putting most of it on the outer part of my eye. Uh, I'm putting a little bit on my inner lashes, of course, especially on my upper lash line, but I wanna make sure I concentrate it right on the outer part of my eye. And then of course I'm gonna be out of frame for my bottom lashes because why wouldn't I be? However, I just wanted to show you this because I want to make sure I note that, again, I want it on the outer part of my lashes more heavily than on the inner part of my lashes. So that I can drag those suckers down or something, whatever. Then for contour, I'm just gonna take a contour slash bronzer and I'm going to put that right around the perimeter of my face. I'm gonna drag that almost all the way down to the corner of my mouth, as you can see. Right there in that entire hollow of my cheek. I wanna drag that all the way down, but I'm not touching my face too heavy. I am gonna put it on my jawline because she has got some amazing bone structure that I do not have. So I'm putting it around my jawline. I'm gonna kind of carve out my chin there, as you can see. And then I'm gonna do some lipstick. This is NYX's Alabama, I believe, or Crazed. Uh, I go in with both. I do mix them both together because I cannot be satisfied with one. So here's the next. No, this is NYX Perfect Red. And then I still wasn't happy with it. So of course I went in with a brighter coral shade on top of it and some lip balm. And that is what I ended up with. And that's the finished look.
right, you all, thanks so much for watching this. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to do that. I also have a Patreon. If you would like to support me on Patreon, that would be amazing. Aside from that, I will see you all in my next video. Later.